Hello everybody. Today at Lock and Charge, we're gonna walk through unboxing a Fuel Tower 5. Jason's gonna cut the straps. And then he's gonna carefully go through and cut the tape. And now Jason is going to unpack the box and when he does this, he's gonna try to be somewhat careful um, taking the packaging out, setting it aside. Then inside of here, you're gonna see that there is actually two documents down in there as well on top of the fuel tower. Those are a couple of documents that talk about how you get to the accessory box inside of the tower itself and also where the keys are inside of the tower. It's going to take those out. We'll set them on the table over here. This is how you actually cloud activate. And then the other one is where you find the keys at the bottom or the base of the Fuel 5, which would be down here, taped to the bottom. So when you take that out, the keys are there to get into the accessory box. I'm now going to join Jason in taking the fuel tower out of the box. Uh, they are pretty heavy and they're kind of awkward, so it's best to have two people at least to take this out of the box and put it on that table. Now Jason will use the keys to show you how to get the accessory box out of the fuel tower using the keys. And in that accessory box is the power cord and things like that. So right up in here, there's a release for that top door. Push that down, it popped open. And then inside of the accessory box is the Cat5 cable, the power cord. Um, there is a screwdriver in there in case you ever need to replace or change a door and or it's also for the, the covers for the, the windows as well that come in the box. And then in the bottom, there's a quick start guide and another set of keys. final thing you want to do is uh, go ahead and close that side door and then lock both the barrel keys and then push that door number one closed and that's it you're pretty much ready to get started 